Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew. I've actually never heard of this before, before you mentioned it. Well, it's so. not really common in New Orleans at all. But this is a southern thing, a very old southern thing, and it was originally made with game. And it's got all these vegetables in it. What kind of game? <laughs> what it is now is it's evolved <laughs> to be a thing that barbecue restaurants make. And barbecue restaurants make this as a side dish, or you can get it on its own over rice, which mm -hmm. is, of course, being in New Orleans. That's yes. how we're going to have it. Yeah. Okay, we've got our onions, garlic, celery, smothered down here some. And now we just add everything else. So here goes the Worcestershire. This is black pepper and cayenne. There's no salt in this. Then, this is the barbecue sauce, so you might want to scrape that out with a spatula, do you? A little bit. You know, so I had bought a bottle of Worcestershire sauce mm -hmm. for when we made the barbecue shrimp. Mm -hmm. I was like, what do I do with this big bottle now? Oh, you could put that in everything. Um, yeah, I wasn't even really thinking about what else to do with it. Yeah. But this is, I can do it with this. You totally could do it with this. Um, and you can add, like I said, any kind of barbecue to this, as well as any kind of barbecue sauce. This is just some uh, beef. You can scrape that yeah. out. This is some beef I bought at the supermarket that was in the sauce, which is just fine. Uh, the recipe I adapted this from, which is from a soul food barbecue restaurant in South Carolina, um, they used a brisket and the pork and chicken. So that's our chicken. This is from a rotisserie chicken that was barbecue flavor. And then you can use beef or chicken stock. The first time I tested this recipe, I used chicken stock and it was great. And then you're gonna put in all your vegetables and they can be canned or frozen or fresh. This would be wonderful to make in the summer uh, with all these fresh okra and tomatoes and butter beans. And this, and this makes a lot and it's gonna be an inexpensive dish and it's always thick. Okay, Dia. It looks good. You're having your rice on top of your Brunswick stew, and yep. I'm having mine underneath. Thanks. So taste it and then tell me what you think. Whoa. That is really good. Mm hmm. I was not expecting it to, I mean, it's like kind of sweet actually. Mm hmm. The barbecue sauce makes it a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. Such as the vinegary Carolina kind. Uh, this is kind of a sweeter, I think more Texas style barbecue. But I love the flavors together with mm -hmm. all those vegetables in it. Yeah. It's so great. anyway, thank you for coming back to In Judy's Kitchen. Thank you. We hope you come back again in a couple of weeks and join us again. Thanks, Dia. Thanks.